Okay? So, yun wala. Okay, so proceed tayo. So last time na po tol tayo, sabi natin ang transfer for insufficient consideration ay 600,000. Pero pwede pa tayong makapag-claim ng exemption na 250,000 pesos. Therefore, ang net taxable gift natin ay 350,000 pesos. Subject sa donor's tax rate na 6%. So, 350,000 times 6%. Pabayaran nating donor's tax ay 21,000. Okay po yun guys. Kuha. Opo, sir. Kuha, sir. Okay. Proceed tayo with second question. How much is the income subject to tax? Yan na. Marami nang nalimutan, di ba? Kung kano income subject to tax natin? 525C. Yan natin, ha? Magkano nga selling price natin? 1 million? Hello, rinig ako si. Yes po. Okay po. 525, tingnan natin. Selling price minus, sell. minus yung acquisition cost natin which is 400 400,000 okay sorry di pa to ha para maganda yung presentation baka pagalitan ako ni Sir Josart eh. Ano pa Ay si Sir Josart ba kay nang ano nang far in apo uh, apo okay sige next ano pa mga gastos natin Operating expenses. Yung? Yung commission, tama ba ako? 50,000. And? Other fees. Documentary stamp tax, which is? 25? 25. Tama? Apo. For? 525. Ano ito? Ito yung ating? Taxable income. Gain. Tama? Opo. Tama. Question guys. Yes, sir. Kailan natin makaklassify if a certain income or gain is treated as either capital gain or ordinary gain? Anyone? Maika? Can you still remember your tax one? Yan na, nanahimik na. Nagtanong na si sir eh, no? Kailan na ulit yung tanong, sir? Kailan natin makaklassify if a certain gain or income is treated as ordinary income or capital income? Or capital gain? Sir, depende po sa asset yan, sir, di ba? Depende sa? Asset, sir. Sabi na yun to. If that asset, if asset sold is, ano? Real. Capital asset. Use the business, sir. E, or ordinary oh. asset. Ordinary. How to determine if the asset is ordinary asset or capital asset? Kapag, sir, ordinary asset ginagamit sa... 
regular course of business. Yes. Right, right. Inventories. If an asset was used, was na, no? Was used in business, it could be classified as ordinary asset. That's why even sale of PPE use in the operations, classified pa rin siya, yung ordinary income, ah, yung income niya, classified pa rin as ordinary income. Okay, however, if the asset sold ay hindi po ginamit sa business, the gain on that asset can be classified as ordinary gain. Tama po? Ah, capital gains. Tama? Therefore, capital gains. So, tama? Subject to? Tama? Pero teka lang guys. Normally, tama na to. Sir, pa 125,000. Paano po, putol, putol? Nawawala, sir. Sir, Chucky. Ulit, ulit. Saan ako na una nag-stop? Pero, sir, pero. Okay. Pero, yung sinabi kong normally, tama na itong 525,000. Tama? Okay. Apo. Normally, tama na si 525,000. However, meron tayong tinatawag na holding period. Diba? Sinong entitled dyan sa holding period na yan? Individual. Individuals po, sir. Diba? Ano yung holding period na yun? If an asset sold by individual ay hinawakan lang for a short period of time. Ano nga ulit yung short period of time? Not more than 12 months. Therefore, the gains on that property, 100% po masasubject to income tax. However, if yung holding period niya is more than 12 months, magiging 50% lang po ang subject to income tax. Naalala to? Opo, sir. Yes, sir. So therefore, ang subject lang sa income tax is 262,500. Bakit? Ganong katagal bang? Bakit may gumuhit? Gano katagal bang? Sir, ako. Sorry, sir. Sidray ko. Tapos, yun pala yun. Okay. Gano katagal bang hinawa? Sir, gusto mag-report. Ah, mag-report? Okay, okay. Sorry, sir. <laughs> okay lang. <laughs> Pwede pa pala yun. <laughs> Pwede yan. Uh, annotate. Okay. Bullet. Gano'ng katagal hinawakan ni Ramon yung property niya bago niya nabenta? Three years, di ba? More or less. So, purchase? Yes, sir. More or less po. 215 pero sold. Ay, 215. Purchase 2015 pero sold 2000. 18. Okay? So therefore, yung period niya is more than one year. Period niya, ang holding period, ang percentage entitled sa kanya is 50%. Kuha po yun guys. Yes sir. Tanda na. Ngayon lang, no? May pa question so far? None, sir. Okay. Sige. Wait lang, ha? Question pala, sir. 
Yes po. Saan po, saan po ina-upload yung mga discussion ko? Ay, oh, supposed to be upload, may in-upload in ako. Binigay ko kay JC, kaso hindi niya ma-access, naka-private daw. Sa Google Drive na lang si, para mm -hmm. mas Sige. Yeah, ayusin ko lang ha, kasi nagka-error yung recording ko nung last time. Nire-recover ko, puputol-putol. May na-recover na ako na chap-chap, i-edit -e ko muna. Sige lang po. Okay, pero yung audio, pwede ko nang i-share. Try natin. Pwede kaya dito sa Zoom? Parang malaki masyado eh. De, forward ko na lang. Para hindi tayo maguluhan. Okay. Proceed ko na lang muna. If okay lang, guys. Apo, sir. Go lang po. 